Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and here is my follow-up video about Android 14 beta 1 and in this video I'm going to share with you some hidden features that I missed to mention in my previous video so without further ado let's jump in let's start with the weirdest thing happened to me while playing around with the phone and this could be an indication that Google is working on a feature that will allow us to reorder the home screen pages but let me show you what happened first let's say your phone is in battery saver mode and then you are holding one of the icons on your home screen like this once you plug the charger you will find that all the home screen pages are now available and i can scroll through them as if i can reorder or hide any of these pages but unfortunately there isn't any buttons and i also tried to tap and hold on any of them but nothing is happening so it could be just a bug and i'm a bit optimistic but i hope that google will consider adding this feature to pixel phones in the future the second change is in the media output switcher when you cast media from your phone to your smart speakers you will see redesigned volume controls with much bigger tick boxes in comparison here is how it looks on the stable version as you see the tick boxes are within the slider area but now they are outside and the volume controls are shorter change number three is under settings then apps then scroll all the way down to special app access scroll all the way down again and you will find a new option here called manage full screen intents and this menu will allow you to turn off any full screen notifications for any app in this case i will turn off the feature for the clock app and set the alarm to ring after one minute to show you the difference Thanks to Mesha Rahman for spotting this feature and sharing it on Twitter. Change number four is in the refresh rate indicator. After activating the feature on Android 14 beta one, now the lowest number I'm getting is 10 Hertz instead of 60 before this update. So I'm not sure if Google updated the refresh rate indicator to represent the real refresh rate of the display or the display itself is actually working in lower refresh rate after the update. So either way, I think it's a good addition. Change number five is related to the transparent navigation bar I talked about in my previous video. After activating this toggle, some of my apps didn't respond to the change and kept showing the same black bar at the bottom of the screen. But after restarting the phone a couple of times, an app like Facebook is now showing the transparent navigation bar. It's not 100% transparent. It's still using a different color when compared to the background color of the app but at least it's a good step in the right direction. Google also removed a couple of features we first saw on Android 14 Developer Preview 2, which I have installed on my 6a. When you go to settings and then sound and vibration, and then scroll down to vibration and haptics, you will see a toggle here called adaptive alert vibration that reduces the vibration strength while your phone is still and the screen is facing up. This option is no longer available on my 7 Pro after installing beta 1, but still it appears in the search. And when I tap on it, it takes me to the same page, but the toggle doesn't exist. The second removed feature is under settings and then accessibility and then color and motion. We used to have a slider for the contrast level and to show you what it does, I'm gonna start a split screen with Google Photos and then modify the slider. And when you take a look here at the menus at the bottom you will see they look different after changing the contrast level and this option is no longer available in android 14 beta 1 and the last thing i want to talk about is the battery life of my 7 pro after installing android 14 beta 1 and from the screenshot you can see i got six hours and nine minutes of screen on time with eight percent battery remaining at the end of the day uh, the phone was mainly connected to Wi-Fi with about two to three hours on 5G. So it's not great, but it's good enough if you want to install this build on your Pixel phone. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the hidden features I spotted in Android 14 beta one. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you the next video.